bit of Halloween decoration. Everybody. Oh my. Let's check what Sarah, check it because let me tell you, it's fall because we're just, granted, we like we decorated tonight, but we left after decorating and it's dark already. We're going somewhere to Disney World and it's dark already, which means it's fall, getting closer to winter and because it's getting darker earlier. And it hasn't been daylight savings yet. Why won't you go? And it's cool out. Yeah. Like it's not cold. And it's breezy. It is breezy. It is not an ounce hot whatsoever. It's not cold, but it's not hot at all. Which, for living here and for being here now over, are we at two months yet? Yeah. Over two months? Like a couple of days over two months, like 63 days. Or yes, we're like 63 days, 64, actually we're 60, we're 63 days because I, I got my 60th day at work the other day already. And so my, my recruiter emailed me and was like, can you believe it? It's been 60 days. Oh, um, it feels like fall. Are you flabbergasted or what? If this resort wasn't cool enough, look at this little display of fall magic. <gasps> I had just tweeted WDW today to see if anything has. Um, fall stuff? Fall stuff, and their response is like, check with the front desk at every hotel that you visit. This is cool. $11.95. I kind of want to get this because we've got the same thing for Christmas. Look at the gourds, and the pumpkins, and the hay. I love it. Seven days left. Seven days of the pop. Look at this assortment in here. I feel like we've done a good I think we have too. Look at this cool thing of the ice. Why is it? Is the ice machine working here? I wonder if it's broken. No, it was working. Oh. Oh, and by the way, it's 77 degrees. 77 degrees. delicious degrees outside. There's a storm in the Gulf. So I don't know if that's what we're getting. Oh. Wind. Just for everybody's knowledge, Roaring Forks is in the back of the lobby, back of the building of Wilderness Lodge. This is its quick service. There's breakfast. 10 hour pulled pork cheese grits. <gasps> that sounds delicious. Ready to go. Lunch and dinner until 11 p.m. It was good. They had, they had those hot cookies. And they had soft serve ice cream. Oh yeah, they have a vanilla and chocolate soft serve ice cream machine right there. Sarah just kept a secret from me that it's open today. <gasps> Look at this. Salon by the Springs. Look at how fancy it looks in there. Ooh. Ooh okay. Ghoulish glam. You can get a <gasps> creepy makeover. $75 includes spooky updo and beautiful makeup. Inquire within for appointments. So there's like, there's like feet stuff there and hair stuff and, and nail stuff and finger stuff. All the stuffs. All the stuff. And it looks, it looks very wavy and choppy out there. Choppy is the correct aquatic term. I think. Did you see our fancy drink? Yeah, we got a lava smoothie. I hope all this footage isn't shot because of the wind. Darn, it's too windy out for the movie to be outside. So it's gonna be set up in our favorite place, the train room. <laughs> Look how cute this bear is. Hang on tight, little guy. He looks like Eve, kinda. His little nose. You okay? Yeah. Sarah was falling asleep in the movie. <laughs> Sitting up. I <laughs> She's fighting a cough, and literally she would cough, and then yawn, and, and then cough. It feels warm out now. Because I don't know if you've ever been in the, the DVC portion of the Wilderness Lodge where the train room is. It is always frigid. Always. So is the Wilderness Lodge lobby. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to know what your classic must-watch Halloween movies are. Because we have a small Halloween movie collection. And I feel like we kind of banked on my mom's, which we don't have. And 
then I want to know what like movies I should buy off the land of Well, if that just ain't beautiful, I just don't know what is. Sarah, they put the sign in after you came here. Please do not climb on the rocks. We don't usually take this route. So I said, yeah, hey, like let's take this route. Let's look to the left. What's the left? Oh, I never even think I've done this before. It's kind of tall, but... Is this what's called Copper Creek Falls? Ooh. And here's the stream that starts in the lobby that goes into my favorite part about the whole pool. We decided that the next um, hotel stay or DVC stay we're doing, we're gonna get club lounge and just stay there all day and all night. So you can go up there, maybe? Or above there? Look at this. Sorry. Look at this cute guardrail. Is it a beaver holding up a piece of wood <laughs> to hold on to? Oh. We're trying to see if we can get on this patio. We can see this cool view of the lobby. There's chairs all around it. Oh. Viewing area is open between 7.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. Oh, we totally gotta come back some night. I had no idea this was here. I know. There's benches and a beautiful view. I can't tell if there's you can definitely, more. You can definitely go up more. Guys, I was already obsessed with this resort to begin. There's stairs all the way up and tables all the way up. Can we go? Yeah. Should we go? This way. We're taking the stairs. <gasps> Artifacts. History. We're coming back here like tomorrow. <gasps> Look at this desk. I'm going to I'm going to work from home one day, aka I'm just going to come here. Is there an outlet somewhere? Oh, look how beautiful this is. Oh, a, fire, a private fireplace. Oh so this is, this is overlooking like above the entrance. Okay, so we... Oh, the door's unlocked, but it's closed. I'm just going to show it to you because I don't want to break the rules. But look at this amazing view. So there's a bigger area on the fourth floor with benches. We're on the fifth floor with a rocking chair, table, and bench. Sarah doesn't want to break the rules. That is gorgeous. Oh, uh, a morning coffee out there. And we're gonna go to the the viewing section over there to see how it looks. Cause I think they're rocking chairs. But that was super cool. We're going all the way up to that because I need to know if that is old, a painting of Old Faithful or of um, oh, oh. a steam engine. So this is above the entrance on the fifth floor with a little fireplace, but these are very lounging chairs. If we saw these earlier, we'd be asleep right now. <laughs> but I, there's definitely TVs up on, that, up on that top floor right there. We're like eye level with the chandeliers, or whatever these light fixtures are called. I'd still call them chandeliers. Look how bright these are LEDs. This looks, from like eye level with these stairs, it looks not like the Wilderness Lodge. What the heck is the old Faithful Club? So the TVs and tables I saw is for the Old Faithful Club guests, which I'm presuming is their club lounge. But, I think we can go to the highest floor over there on that side because there's a gate right there. So we can go to the highest floor on that side and look across. Okay. And see the top of the totem pole. Yeah. And climb down it. <laughs> Disrespectful. Our little chairs that me and Sarah are gonna hang out in one day are over there. This is the highest floor in the main building you can walk to upstairs too. 
There's rocking chairs, and here's the totem pole. The top of the totem pole. Here's the backside. Not as exciting as the backside of water, but still exciting. <gasps> and that TV in that section there is the club lounge. And the spot to scan your magic band is right there, that gate. But these rocking chairs. Rocking chairs, Sarah. Sit. Sit? I'm getting that Insta story. That guy just went in the club, the lounge. I'm a little jealous of him. Oh. Hey. We're home. And today is Wednesday? Today's Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. Today's, tomorrow's Wednesday. This time tomorrow, we can say we're halfway through the week. More than. More than. What are we doing tomorrow? I feel like the bucket list family. We don't know. <laughs> Let's go to a park tomorrow. Okay. I'm All right. With that. But I'm tired. She's tired. tired. She was falling asleep during Hocus Pocus at the, <laughs> at the resort. Yeah. And she, Eve was just on the tired. ground. Snoozy. Little snoozy, little puppy. Super cute. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>